वेलकम टू अनदर सेशन ऑफ टॉपर्स की बातें विद फूड जेनिक्स टुडे वी हैव हरजोत सिंह एंड निशान मनोकर हरजोत सिक्योर्ड ऑल इंडिया रैंक ऑफ 1039 एंड निशान सिक्योर्ड ऑल इंडिया रैंक ऑफ 1095 इन एक्सेल कैटेगरी ऑफ गेट सेक्शन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डेफिनेटली वांट टू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट बोथ ऑफ यू फॉर गेटिंग अ ग्रेट रैंक ऑल इंडिया रैंक सो बिफोर गोइंग इनटू अ प्रॉपर इंटरव्यू आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट देम टू गिव सम इंट्रोडक्शन Uh, regarding themselves and some of their hobbies and how they tried to orient towards the preparation of gate exam so uh, first with nishant nishant you can start well, uh, actually i did my uh, primary schooling in ahmedabad uh, and then uh, my secondary schooling i did in chennai and uh, i love to play badminton and uh, cricket and uh, like uh, in the uh, beginning of uh, may month only i just uh, came to know about uh, food genix group about their I means uh, guiding for gate preparation and then only i got some uh, some belief that i can clear gate exam after uh, joining the group okay so when did you started your preparation basically so basically started in the mid of may okay so same question goes to you harjot what uh, when did you started your preparation and basically your introduction and how you started to orient towards gate preparation yeah uh, i am pursuing my btech food technology Uh, I am finally a student in a Punjab Agriculture University. So I started a preparation for gate exam in April or May uh, before the joining the food genetics group. Uh, but I gave, took the uh, first mock test of food genetics, and from that uh, my serious preparation began only then. Okay. So the next thing I definitely want to ask is, what was your basic preparation strategy? How you divided your time as when you started your preparation? As you said that uh, you started in May or like Nishan started after joining Food Genics. So when was what was your basic preparation strategy after starting the exam? How you devoted the time and what was your basic idea that I I I should focus on this more? And you can give a basic idea regarding that. And how Food Genics basically helped you in optimizing that strategy. towards proper path food genics help me to get back punctual cuz i started with uh, preparation before joining the gate but that was very slow you know when you don't have any deadline you cannot cover the topics uh, so when you had four subjects you had deadline of 7 days of completing those topics so i divided my days according to that at first two days i will do this subject next two days i will do that subject and so that division of time was very easy because of food genics the every mock test that they gave okay that's great so nishant uh, what what's your idea about that so like uh, at first means i had some belief in uh, food technology syllabus like uh, we all study food technology so i thought it, it will be easy but after coming to food genics group only i got more confident in especially biochemistry through sumantra sir's uh, some advice and uh, also you were advice in chemistry and uh, more than uh, scoring marks i got some knowledge about biochemistry and chemistry uh, some subject knowledge so i think that is very useful for me now in my uh, graduate and all yeah that's great like gaining knowledge is more important definitely so uh, like as you mentioned that you Uh, devoted some time to your optional subjects and then you uh, took help from some of the mentors so what kind of difficulties did you face during your preparation like if it's uh, specifically regarding subject matter like if you were not able to approach some kind of su- subject and if you were having some time problem like uh, you were not able to devote some time or even if they are specific uh specifically like if you were weaker in those those sections like some some sometimes we are weaker in mathematical or physical approaches of food engineering so if any kind of difficulties you faced nishant you can tell first that what kind of difficulties you pre- faced in your uh, strategy and how you played with them how you improved them and how food genics helped into it so like uh, before uh, joining food genics group i thought after going to the gate syllabus I thought like biochemistry will be very tough, uh, and we need to prepare a lot. And I, I was like very uh, afraid of that uh, biochemistry syllabus. But after that, uh, a week, uh, weekly mock test, and uh, each day you are means uh, g- solving the doubts and all. I just uh, mean came. Um, uh, I got more uh, confident about my uh, biochemistry subject and also chemistry. Like my uh, fear was. Uh, There was not uh, no much uh, no more fear in the exam day. The mock test helped me a lot. Like uh, weekly mock test, uh, the fifteen mock test helped me a lot. The study plan also seven day study plan. Like 
we had some uh, like seven days we need to finish the subject so we had a good time like uh, to finish the subject and uh, go for next subject and what we need to do next uh, weekly weekly so I had a good time with food genetic uh, yeah. this subject preparation yeah that's great so yeah harjot what were, what is your idea about that when i started i when i knew the syllabus i knew i i, I was going to have difficulty in food the food technology in medical portions and the microbiology the okay. options that i chose so the theory portion of food science was easy but you know the mock tests the types of questions the, i practiced because of the mock tests i you know i increased my efficiency in food technology practical portion the paper was only one medical came but i got knowledge of following my medicals yeah exactly so that was microbiology microbiology was i was uh, having difficult time with microbiology but i you know i contacted the mentors they told me how to prepare what topics to prepare what is important what is not so i they helped me a lot so that from that i was able to achieve the scores in gate so uh, you mentioned a very strong point like i think you mentioned a very good idea that what is not important so do you really do you guys really think that what is not important is more important in gate you should actually know that what is not important what do you think any of you can like mention harjot if you want to add something with that why not important is more important in preparation of gate but i believe that if you know what to read and from where to read half of your work is complete I started my preparation before food genetics, and I did not know what to read. So, single topics consumed my weeks. So that is the major benefit I achieved from food genetics part that I knew what to read and to what topics I should devote my time. You know, the smart work that we call that to there your resources to do hard work in the right direction. That's what. Okay, that is that's great. so yeah uh, next question i would definitely want to ask is specifically regarding the subject matter we played uh, as a role so nishan do you think that the action plans which we were uh, uniquely giving to the students in food genetics the action plans which we were given the kind of mock tests like as you already mentioned that the weekly mock tests we divided the syllabus how they were able to make you uh, come to the level of gate exam how you were able to uh, remove that difficulty that path of difficulty uh, to the the day of the exam that right? when you were going into the exam and you were sitting in the exam how that content basically helped you to remove that barrier and how it boosted your confidence that's the main, main part i wanted to ask so what do you think that actually truly speaking uh, the standard of uh, your mock test paper were uh, was good than compared to the normal paper like we l- we learned uh, more uh, things and the more the difficult questions we came to know more about the uh, subject knowledge and especially food gen uh, food genetics uh, the uh, food technology questions were good and we know we came to know more about the knowledge uh, paper, the standard was good the mock test standard was good from your part okay mock test uh, the, the level of mock test was very good when i sat for the ga- gate paper i I was not able to differentiate between a mock test and paper. I thought it was just like giving another mock exam. I knew how to divide my time and the level of questions. Man, I believe that the level of question was lower than what we did in mock test. Okay, <laughs> that's great. So I it, was not nervous. It means that you were already prepared for that type of questions which can be coming in exam. So that's great. Yes. yes. So. Uh, note but last uh, like i just want to ask you that how food genetics help you or basically not specifically food genetics how the preparation of gate helped you improving in your specific specifically your personality like how you were before preparation of gate or before joining food genetics and how you are after joining food genetics or how you have been changed at your personal level not only the subject matter and all so how you have changed i just want to ask that so like uh, before coming to food genetics uh by means uh, preparing for any competitive exam like uh, i have a plan but not a like a specific plan like uh, what do you follow like food genetics uh, mock test and uh, some uh, uh, conducting webinars for each week uh so after that i got 
I I came to know that we need to prepare in these ways. I learned a lot from your uh, approach. Like we need to go in these ways to uh, successfully prepare for some exams, for up- upcoming exams. So that was very good learning from for me with the uh, uh, food journey. So how to successfully prepare for upcoming exams and uh, how to schedule ourselves and uh, how to uh, gain the knowledge from the subject. That's great. Really glad to know that. Yeah, uh, Arjot, what do you say? The the first major benefit was punctuality to devote time regularly. The second thing is that as we I am pursuing B Tech in food technology, it's in engineering degree. So I was not good in the numerical portions of food technology. After joining Foodgenics, after practicing portions, now I am more confident. that yes i know about what i have learned in my four years now sitting in a food papers of food technology i feel more confident yeah actually that's great because if you know that what you have done in your bachelor's four years of btech and preparing for gate definitely help you revise and gain information that yes you are a food technologist you can prove that now and you can actually say into the mar- go to the market and you can say that yes i am a food technologist yeah that's great so yeah nothing more uh, just want to ask the last of few questions that uh, what was your time devotion and how you tackled the time period of 3 hours on the day of exam in the examination hall or we can say the center so how was that played a role and you know that the mock test also provided a time period for giving the exam that definitely would have have helped uh, but apart from that what what were the strategies your uh, you put in your exam when you were preparing and how finally on the day of exam you tackled that time period actually uh, in all the mock tests like uh, i was means uh, like good in chemistry and uh, food technology so in all the 15 to 15 mock tests i attempted these two in the first and then i came to biochemistry and general aptitude at the last so after attending these 15 at the exam day like uh, i felt very uh, what to say easy to attend all these questions and uh, there was no like hurry up in the exam day so but in mock tests i got a uh, means uh, like very uh, strategy to how to plan ourselves in the exam day so at the exam day like uh, i finished earliest and also no means hurry bari and uh, i finished at the right time okay so yeah same goes to you harjot how did you manage the time in the day of exam you know mock tests really have to manage help me manage my time so i attempted the questions that i i was sure of and so once you are you have crossed the cut off barrier then you are confident then you can attempt another questions which are you know on mediocre level you can also attempt that and i Uh, completed my paper half an hour before the time given time, and uh, the, I was calm. It, it, it was not a hurry thing. Okay, that's great. Yeah. So okay, uh, would not take much more time. I just want to ask about your future plans. Uh, as you have just cleared the gate exam, so are you gonna going into that field or are you gonna do something else? So just uh, in like in just. one minute you can tell your future plans and also some of the things which even you still think that needed much more efforts and so that you can just provide some suggestions to your juniors or upcoming aspirants so just that just nothing more than that so yeah harjot you can go first yeah but i believe that i lacked as a, i could have given more time in the last months you know i i lacked in this due to the university or college uh, exams also so uh, just be regular give more time time and just practice more and more questions that's okay and in the future i, I am really thinking towards uh, pursuing a mtech degree now i would apply for the post graduate okay so yeah you are definitely uh, into that that i will definitely go for mtech degree okay yeah, yeah. so i would uh, suggest my juniors to like uh, they should start their preparation at the uh, second year because uh, then they will have confidence on their they will not have any fear at their uh, the, uh, the the year they're going to give their exam because they they will, if they start at the earliest then they can finish the portions and uh, they can uh, revise a lot 
and my future plans are uh, to do mtech and i'm just uh, applying for colleges to do mtech in tech okay that's great having a clear cut future plans is the best thing you can yeah so uh, thank you so much both of you it was great having a discussion with you and everything uh, you told about and how it will help aspirants upcoming aspirants and how uh, as a food genics mentor how i helped you and how you have put a great efforts into this hard work and strategies and all so they finally you got a great rank all all india rank so again thank you so much for the time and congratulations both of you i hope you will get great opportunities ahead Thank you. Thank you.